Hi everyone, thank you for joining us for another lesson. We are covering spelling with C at the end of the word today, and that is the last lesson in chapter four. So it's a very exciting day, but if you haven't seen any of the prior lessons, make sure you go back because the lessons do go in order. When we are covering today's lesson, I will be playing the part of a student. I'm an implementation coach with Reading Horizons, and my name is Chloe, and my friend Erica will be playing the teacher. So if you're watching the uh, live version, then you can simply uh, re-watch it again afterwards. But if you're watching the recording, stop it and start it as many times as you need to, because we want it to go at your pace. Um, and so we'll also share some links to some resources that you can use that go along with this lesson. If you want to, you can print them out. They're in the chat box if you're watching live, or they're right under the video if you're watching the recording. And just a reminder again, I am playing the part of a student. So anytime you hear me say something, you should be repeating at home also. And anytime you see me writing, you should be writing on your board or your paper at home. This is our friend Erica and she's gonna be our teacher. Thanks. Thanks, Chloe. Hi friends. Thanks for joining us again today for lesson 74, spelling with C at the end of the word. Now, the materials you'll need for today's lesson, something to write with and something to write on. Hopefully you have those ready because this isn't your first lesson. Great job. Here also is the page from the assignment teacher Chloe made with the last lesson. So decoding two syllable words, correction, I believe I taught that one, sorry. Here are the answers to that work page. All right, let's get ready for today's lesson. To review, I'd like to dictate a sentence to you. So you may want to turn your board sideways, that's fine. And make sure you have enough room to write this sentence. We will go over three sentences, but I'm just going to dictate one to you right now. All right, here we go. This has seven words, this sentence. Why did the duck cross the road? Why did the duck cross the road? Why did the duck cross the road. Why did the duck cross the road? Okay, if you'll write that please. Great job, Chloe. Capital letter punctuation is correct. I was asking a sentence. Okay, friends, let's look at yours. Why did the duck cross the road? Does yours look like mine on the board or on your screen? Okay, great job. The next two you do not have to write, so you can put your board and your marker away. Just want us to look at these. The next two sentences, let's read those, or you can track along as I'm reading. How about that? It crossed the road to speak with a chick. The last sentence, honk if you think this joke is funny. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh because I can't honk, but that joke. <laughs> okay, all three of those sentences have something in common. Before this lesson, you've been taught the five phonetic skills and, and how to use the C, the K sound at the end. Let's review quickly. Let me ask you a few questions and let's look for those words within one syllable that have that k at the end within each one of these sentences. So right now, the, um, the first one I wanna ask you is this, what is the spelling for k when it's at the end of a short vowel word? CK. CK, that's right. And do you see any of those within these sentences? Here's a about this at home, friends, there are two of them. Okay, the first one I see is in the first sentence and it's the word duck. Very good. Do you see another one? In the second sentence, I see the word chick. Very good. And both of those follow phonetic skill. Number? Two, with two guardian consonants. With a short vowel. Perfect. We end it with a CK. Now, let me ask the next one. What is the spelling for k when it's the final sound in a long vowel word? It also follows phonetic skill four. So let's think about that, friends. 
phonetic skill four. We have at the end that silent e. e. Okay. That's right, proving our vowel to be long. So let's look. What spell? What is the spelling for k when it follows that phonetic skill four, and it has that long vowel? The K E at the end of the word. The K E. That's right. Great job. That silent E and then the K before it. Now, do you see any words within our sentences that follow that pattern? I see just one word. Is that right? Yes, there's just one. Good. It's joke. The word is joke. Very good. Following phonetic skill for that long vowel, we spell it K E. All right. The next challenge for you. What is the spelling for k when it follows the adjacent vowels? It's just k. All you do is it's add just k. k. That's right. Do you see that? Use within one of these sentences. I see one in the second sentence. Okay, and what would that word be? Speak. Speak, that's correct. I hope you are getting these correct at home as well. One last one for you, student Chloe. Which word in the review sentences includes the k as part of the special vowel combination? Which words? There's another clue. Okay, so more than one word. And if it's a special vowel combination, I'm thinking about the special combinations that end in K. O-N-K, I-N-K. All right, I see two in the last sentence. Okay. See them at home, friends? Let's see. The first word, honk. That's right. Yep. Yeah. And the next one is think. Great job. Now let's look at both of those. Let's look at honk first. Talk to me about the special vowel combination there, Chloe. O-N-K. Awesome. And then the other word has what special vowel combination? I-N-K. I -N -K. And I love how you reviewed those special vowel combinations in your mind before looking for your answer. And you talk about which ones end in the K. Because we know the LL, the NG, those weren't relevant to what we were looking for right now, right? right. Um, okay, friends, once again, as a reminder, if you got these right at home, you're ready to go on with us. If you did not, you're going to need to stop and review a previous lesson. Let's go into the instruction for today. As you learn the five phonetic skills, you learn patterns for spelling words at the end that come k sound. Now you know the two decoding skills. We learned that in our last lesson. So you're ready to learn how to spell the k sound when it's heard at the end of a word that has more than one syllable. So in the past, we've worked with one syllable. All of those words that we did just now in our review were one syllable that ended with that k sound. Now we're going to do multisyllabic words that end with the k sound. Words that have more than one syllable and end with the k sound are spelled with the letter C. Look at that. One example of the word is traffic. Traffic has two syllables and it ends with a k sound. Let's prove the word together. Moving left to right under the word, first marking would be our TR blend. Followed by the vowel uh, A, followed by the vowel I. Looking between our two working vowels, we see we have double consonants. And we know that two will split. So as a reminder, friends, we're not doing the boxes anymore. We're just going to draw our lines. So I'm going to draw a line to divide the two Fs. Going to prove that first syllable is short. That first F we know is silent. Looking at that second syllable, the I is proven to be short, phonetic skill one. Going back and looking at each syllable, let's read them together. Tra Tra -fic. Fic. Traffic. 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 Okay, so let's listen again. Traffic is two syllables and it has the k at the end. So what letter are we using to spell that k sound? So traffic, because it has two syllables, traffic is going to be spelled with the C at the end to spell the K sound. Very good, friend. Let's go to the next one. This word moving left to right, we have an R blend, 
our vowel A, vowel I. Looking between our two working vowels, we have an N and a T, two consonants, two will split. There's our dividing line, proving the first syllable short, phonetic skill one. Moving to the second syllable, the same thing. Let's read each syllable and then we will read our word. Frantic. 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 They made a frantic attempt to finish the assignment before the bell rang. Kind of a panic, right? Yeah. We've all been there. Looking at this word, two syllables, frantic, ends with that k sound, but what letter is representing that? Just Spelled with C. C, very good. Let's look at another one. This one I'm going to let student Chloe walk us through. I will walk us through this one and she can walk us through the next one. How about oh, that? I can help. Too. I'm sorry. sorry. I thought I thought we lost you with sound. <laughs> okay, so moving left to right across the bottom of this word. Be following along at home. Make sure you can do this too. X under the U, then X under the I. When I look between those vowels, I see just one consonant and one must run. So that I divide between the U and the N. The U stands alone, so it's long. And when I come up and around the last syllable, the C is a guardian proving the I is short. Great job. And would you read each syllable for us, please? Yes. So the first syllable is two. The next syllable is Nick. The word the is word. tunic. Tunic, very tunic. good. Good, and that's like a jacket, a longer jacket, maybe reaching down past your hips, maybe to your knees. My grandmother brought me a tunic for Christmas that was red. Okay, let's move to the next one. As you learn the five phonetic skills, you learn the pattern for spelling the words that end with k at the end. We've already talked about that several times, right? <laughs> now that you know the two decoding skills, you can prove words that have that k at the end. We know to spell them with a c. But when we start adding endings, that's gonna take a little bit of a change. Let me show you how. This is the word picnic. Let me prove it for you. The vowel I, the vowel I. I know the C and the N will split. Prove the first syllable short. Prove the second syllable short. My word is picnic. 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 Picnic is a meal that you take outdoors. The family had a nice picnic on Sunday in the park. Before we can change this, before we can add an ending, we're going, or before we can add a suffix, we're going to have to add the K before we can add the ending. I will show you by turning the word picnic into picnicking. After writing picnic, I'll add the letter K then I'll add my suffix, all right? And what is the one important thing that we do with the suffixes after we write them? Underline. We underline those, that's right. Let me go back and add something to this. It is so important that we add that K there because if we don't add the K, the suffix is going to help make a rainbow S with the letter C. Right. So if that were to happen in this word, I would be saying, pick nicing instead of picnicking. <laughs> okay, so now knowing that we can spell picnicking, we have to add that K. If I were to ask you to help me spell the word picnic, like we went for a, and we went and picnicked yesterday in the park, we're adding that ED. How would I spell that, friends? Make sure that you add the K and then add the ed ending. Great job, and we always underline. underline it. And do you remember the reason that we're adding that k there? It's so important to add that k? Yeah, because otherwise we'd have pick nice. <laughs> That's right, very good, Chloe. Okay, friends at home, it's your time for the dictation. Get your materials out.
Okay, friends, I'm going to spell all of these. So instead of doing the hand motions with me, you are welcome to write as I spell, okay? The first one we will do together, it may look a little familiar. It is P-I-C-N-I-C, P-I-C-N-I-C. And you will see mine on the teacher board. Make sure you've spelled yours correctly. Moving left to right beneath the word, I see we have the vowel I. I see another vowel I. Notice that we have C and N between our two working vowels. We know that two consonants will split. So I'm going to draw my line here, proving my first vowel to be short, phonetic skill one. Also phonetic skill one in that second syllable, proving that vowel to be short as well. Let's read each syllable here. Good job. Pick, Pick. Nick. Picnic. 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 Very good. Don't forget, multisyllabic word ending with the k. We're spelling it with the letter C. Let's do another one, friends. Are you ready? Yes. C U B I C. C U B I C. Here's mine. You want to check yourself? Did you divide between the U and the B? I see that student Chloe did. Did you find the U to be long, phonetic skill three in the first syllable? The I is short in the second syllable, phonetic skill one. Let's read each syllable and then we'll read our word. Cubic. 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 Use, um, that could be used to measure volume. The volume of the container is two cubic meters. Using it when you're, um, Measuring. Okay, let's move on to the next one. H E C T I C. H E C T I C. We have two consonants between these working vowels. We know that two will split. Good job, student Chloe. Does yours match mine at home? Perfect, we have short vowels in the first and second syllable thanks to phonetic skill number one. Let's read each syllable and then read our word, please. Heck -tick. Tick. Hectic. 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 We had a hectic day of shopping looking for my brother a pair of shoes. Right, the next one. Okay, little clue here. This one is going to have a voiced or voiceless digraph. So you may want to read the word both ways after proving it to see if it sounds familiar. Okay, here we go. E T. H N I C E T H N I C Great job, Chloe. I see that you noticed it was voiceless too. Can you tell me why? I actually have heard this word before. And so when we were talking about cultures in social studies class, so when I pronounced it to myself, I heard it as ethnic. And so was voiceless. So I marked it voiceless, ethnic. Very good, ethnic. Read yours with me at home, please. Ethnic. 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 ethnic and that's relating to a group of people that 
have common characteristics, beliefs, customs. A popular type of ethnic food in our country is Italian. Okay, let's do, let's do a couple where we're building and we're adding those suffixes. Okay. And you may want to turn your board sideways. It's going to allow you for enough room to write the base word and prove it and then write it again with the ending. Okay, can we erase our boards? Yes, you may erase your boards, I'm sorry. Okay, so if they're full, we can just erase our boards and then turn them sideways like this at home, friends, so that we have enough room to write across. Perfect, thank you. Okay, are we ready for the first one? Yes. You may write as I spell. T-R-A-F-F-I-C. T-R-A-F-F-I-C. The only thing we're doing now is just proving this base word. Okay, great. Chloe, I see that you marked the first F as silent, which is exactly how we marked that. Let's read each syllable. Traffic. 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 I do not like to drive in heavy traffic. Now let's move to the left of the word traffic and let's write the word trafficking. Trafficking. Okay, do you hear the suffix? Yes. As a reminder, friends, don't forget that extra thing we have to add before we add our suffix when our, when our word, our multisyllabic word is ending in that C. Good job, student Chloe. She remembered the K. Did you remember it at home? Great, I sure hope so. Okay. Trafficking. The man in the story was trafficking stolen goods. Okay, now let's turn that to past tense. And let's add the ED. Okay, traffic. Did you remember the K on this one as well? Yes. Good. And underline your ending? Yes. Perfect. Now let's do another word. Actually, let's go back and point to each one of these words and read it. That's okay. Let's start with traffic, then we'll go across and then down. Okay? Okay. One. Traffic. Traffic. Trafficking. Traffic. Very good. Okay, let's do another one. This one, friends, we're going to do the same way. Prove that base word and then add the endings, but it's going to be a nonsense word. Are you ready for me to spell that for you? Yes. C-R-O-B-I-C. C-R-O-B-I-C. Nonsense, so I'm reminding you about your asterisk. Good job, Chloe. She called the long vowels in the first syllable, thanks to phonetic skill number three. Phonetic skill number one on the second syllable, proving that vowel to be short. Let's read each syllable. Crobic. The word is crobic. Crobic. The nonsense word is crobic. Now, can you spell crobic ing? 
the nonsense word trobic ing. And friends, remember, doesn't matter if it's a real word or nonsense word, we're going to do the same thing. Good job, Chloe. Okay, friends, did you remember to add the K? And did you underline the ending? Great job. Let's do one more. Let's put in the past tense. Let's add the ED and make crobicked. 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 Okay, friends, do you remember to add the K and underline the ED? Great job. Let's go back to the root, the base word, and read it, and then we will go across. Are you ready? Yes. Here we go. Crobic. 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 Very good. All right. Now it is time for our dictation sentence. So if you would like to erase your board, you're probably going to need to, friends, because our dictation sentence has seven words. So you'll need seven lines. I'm going to grab another board. Okay. All right. Here we go. The fish tank was three cubic feet. 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 As you finish, please check yours with the board. Okay, good job, friends. Did you spell cubic correctly? Did you remember that that ended with a C? Good, okay, and I see Chloe remembered her capital letter and punctuation, perfect. Let's read this sentence together. The fish tank, fish tank was, was three, three cubic, cubic feet. feet. <laughs> Chloe, would you like to read it one time? Sure. Everybody at home, read along. Let's go. The fish tank was three cubic feet. Very good. Now it is time for the transfer part of our lesson. I'm going to give you a laser pointer and if you will read along, we will read row by row with student Chloe. Go ahead. Picnic, picnicking, picnicked. Frantic, basic, tactic, cubic, Hectic, attic. Very good, and I'm gonna pick, let's pick this second sentence. And Chloe, since it's short, I'm just going to leave my pointer here and let you read it. That work? Yep. Okay, go ahead. Everybody at home, ready, go. She wants a fancy tunic. Very good. Don't forget, friends, you want to read all of the sentences when you are looking at your transfer card. Okay, here's the practice page that goes along with our lesson for today. It's located in the chat box if you're watching live or it's located, the link is underneath 
the recording if you're watching the recording. You can just take a picture of it, write your answers on your own page. Don't worry about trying to print it out. This concludes our time together, but it certainly does not mean it has to end your time with phonics. You have several resources available to you to continue your practice. We have the practice page, the transfer cards, also the software. Don't forget about the software. If you need any help logging into your software account or have questions about the lesson from today, here's our number. Feel free to give us a call and we'll be happy to help you with anything. I really enjoyed being with you today and look forward to our next lesson together. Thanks friends, have a great day. Thanks, bye.